Hey guys, this is AC Service Tech, and today we're going to be making a condensate pan. All right, so this is just for emergency pan. This is not something that should have water in it all the time. All right, this will be going underneath of a furnace or a fan coil that's located in an area um, that you just want to protect, maybe on the second story or something like that. So what we're going to be doing here first is we're going to be measuring at 29 inches, all right, because I want this pan to be 24 by 24, all right? So we're going to do five inches larger than we need. All right, and I'll show you, I'll show you why, okay? So there's our other measurement of 29 inches, all right? Now, you're going to want to mark in on the corners here a half by a half, okay? That dot right there, okay? And then you're going to be making something bigger than a 90-degree cut. So instead of cutting a square out here, you're going to cut something that will be more like 120 degrees, okay? You're going to do that, all right? That is for our hem so that it's not sharp when we bend the pan up. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to measure two and a half inches in, all right? And you're going to put a mark there. You're going to measure two and a half inches in. You're going to make another mark there. Okay, that's going to be where we're going to be bending our pan up. So if this is two and a half inches, after we hem this over a half an inch, we're going to have a pan that's two inches high. All right, so that's where that two and a half inches plus two and a half inches equals five inches. All right, we want to make a 24-inch uh, wide pan, 24 by 24. So that's why we need 24 plus two and a half and plus two and a half on the other side. So that's where we come up with that number at. All right, we're going to go ahead and cut the corners out. All right. All right, so after we cut our half inch by half inch, our 120 degree angle, what we're going to do is we're going to hem that over, all right? We're going to set it in our metal brake. If you don't have a metal brake, you can use the 3 8 side of your bender or breaker bar, okay? And you can fold that over, and then you're going to crimp it down with your hand brakes, just to make sure, just to make sure that it is uh, crimped over, okay? And we're going to set it in here again just to go ahead and crush it down somewhat. Got your mark. It should be roughly at two inches here. Two inches that way, two inches that way. All right. So you're going to set that in your, in your brake. don't have a brake for this part, you're going to have to set some weight on, on this part right here. Maybe even put your body weight on top of it. Make sure it's a crisp edge that is weighted down on this. And then you would reach here and fold up and maybe even get your hands down there and pull up right behind the seam. All right. But we're going to go ahead and only bend this up to say 30 degrees right here. All right. And that's that. So you're just going to bend it up like that this time. All right, we're going to do that on two sides. Now, the reason that we're doing that, okay, so you can see both sides. The reason we're doing that is because now we're going to put this whole thing back in the, in the brake. Right on the line, bend it over, and now you're going to bend the full 90 degree. All right, just like that. All right, so you're going to be bending a square right in the corner here. that up to a 90. So now you have a 90 there and a 90 there. And then there comes the tricky part, when you're going to be bending it with your hand brakes. Okay? What I like to see is I like to see somebody that has it just like this. And there's a lot of light shining off of it. Sorry about that, but you're going to have to deal with it. Um, what I would like to see is that you have the 
open part this way. So, so say the 90 degrees are facing up here and up here on this side. You're going to take your hand brakes with the handles down, okay, and you're going to put it along this back side. So if you can see that, this is what we're doing, okay? And we're going to be bending the hand brakes upwards like this, okay? Upwards. All right, here we go. You're going to be bending it upwards, and when we bend it, you should be able to see a 90 degree start to start to occur. Okay? So if you can see that, you have your 90 degree angle, 90 degree angle, and then you're splitting it with a 45 in the middle. Okay? As you come in, let's see here, we can bend it like this. You can bend it a little bit as you come in and fold it, fold it inwards. Okay? That's the start of that corner piece. All right? And then we can eventually close it off, like with your hand brakes. But we need to get this other side done as well. So once again, fits right here. So this is the open side, if you can see that. We're going to be bending this upwards, okay? You see how it's making that crease right there? You can see that? That crease? All right, and we're bending it in. Okay, you can see that. Then you're going to force it in. Get it with your hand brakes. Bend it a little bit more. You can squeeze all three of them together like this. All right. You can see you got your corner there being bent. Then we got to finish up on this side over here. Like that. Alright, and there's your corner. Nice tight corner. Okay, that's how that's done. There's no need to leak check it or anything. Okay, it's all bent on the inside. Alright, now as far as this goes, let's see here, let's see if you can see this. You see how it's kind of bent out here, you, kind of, you just have to push it down a little at a time with your hand. You want to make sure that you're getting it on this seam and not bending over here. All right. And that will finish that up for you. All right. We're going to do the same thing again. Okay. So that this is that 30 degree side. This is the 90 side and that's the 90 side. So what you would do is you would take your hand brakes, attach it on there. All right, and then you're going to bend up. When you bend up, it's going to create that that bend straight like that. Okay, once you bend that, you can start bringing it in. All right, we can do that same thing on the other side. All right, we've got that angle bent now. All right, and now we're just bringing it in. Isn't that nice? That's a nice corner right there, okay? You have it sticking up, you know, maybe a sixteenth or something like that right there. Not bad. All right. So this is how it looks when it's done. All right, and that will trap all your water. You can put an emergency condensate float switch inside this pan. You just mount it right to the side. You don't have to screw through the pan. It just has tension clips on it. You can put some sealant around the edge and the float switch could just sit right in the inside of here 
and you want to turn it so it's just slightly ready to just, if there's even a slight bit of water in this pin, it will trip. You want to get a float switch that has the most, say, styrofoam as possible. You don't want to use those hollow plastic ones that it's only supposed to be the air in it that'll make uh, that lighter than the water. You know, you want the big, wide styrofoam ones, okay? And then the only other thing is when you do preventative maintenance, and you know, if there's any water or condensation that has gotten this, you want to make sure that it did not um, stick the styrofoam to the metal, okay? That's why you want that other uh, emergency uh, condensate uh, switch actually into the uh, evaporator coil pan. It actually, you actually screw it in above the uh, condensate. I think there's, there's different manufacturers, but one is safety switch. Uh, but it actually, if the, the pan starts filling up with water before it overflows and goes into this pan, you know, that's supposed to cut off the, the air conditioning. So you can cut off just the Y for the compressor, or, or you can cut off the R for the main power, even going to the thermostat with this. You can cut off your low voltage if you start getting water in this. You should never have water in an emergency condensate pan. All right, and you do not need to just put a PVC in this and take it outside. You want to make sure that you don't have any problems with your air conditioning system or your heater. If you have water in this, there is a problem, and you want to go ahead and take care of that. All right, hope you enjoyed yourself, and see you next time at AC Service Tech.